The second step in the web development process is to determine which hosting solution would best suit the needs of your website, both for the purpose of testing your website during the development process and for live production. A website can either be hosted on your home computer, a traditional hosting service such as shared or dedicated or virtual private hosting, or hosted on a cloud server. So which type of system would best suit your needs? Well, before we answer this question, there are several factors to consider. Will this site be accessible by the outside world or the public internet? or only available to users within the local network? Will this site be very resource intensive? For example, will it be a small static site with only a few pages and text data, or a dynamic database-driven website with a high volume of traffic, perhaps even with large amounts of video and high-resolution image content? Do you need the hosting platform to be scalable? Meaning, do you expect to start off with a small site that can gradually grow into something much larger, which will require more resources? Or does your website require different amounts of resources at different times? For example, say you run an online business that gets heavy traffic in certain months, but barely any in others. What types of programming technologies will this site require? For example, will this be a database-driven dynamic website? If so, will it require PHP and MySQL or Microsoft-based languages such as ASP or ASP.NET? These are all very important considerations before making your decision. So let's start with the first scenario. If you do not intend to make this website publicly accessible, then you will likely be hosting it on a system within your own network. For this to work, you will need to configure this system to work as a server. In this course, we'll show you how to set up your own computer as a server to preview your website projects. This is necessary because certain file extensions that we will be working with, such as PHP and MySQL, will not work unless a testing server is created. Keep in mind that you do not need a testing server to view basic HTML pages. If your intention is to build a server and host a website that is, that's accessible within your local network or intranet, we will also be demonstrating how to configure your server and router settings so that other computers within your network can access your server's web directory. Now let's say on the other hand, and this is probably the case, that you do intend to make your site publicly available. Well, as you probably guessed, you could technically use the testing server we will be setting up on your system and open certain ports on your router to allow connections from outside IP addresses rather than just the local connections. Please note, this is a highly complex and very susceptible to security vulnerabilities if not done correctly. Setting up a home computer for public websites is beyond the scope of this course. It is also not a very good practice and requires a static IP address, which can be quite costly and outweigh any potential benefits. The best option to serve as your hosting solution is either a traditional web hosting package from a reputable company or a cloud hosting service. So you're probably wondering what the difference is between these two options. When we say traditional web hosting, we're referring to the pre-assembled packages offered by hosting companies such as GoDaddy or HostGator, just to name a couple. These are two examples among many other companies out there. The reason we identify them as traditional is because the latest web hosting solution that most web developers are now gravitating towards is cloud hosting. We'll get to cloud hosting in a minute. With traditional web hosting, the server that your website is stored on is housed in a data center, typically with hundreds or thousands of other servers. The servers are administered and maintained by the hosting company. This is probably as easy as it gets because you simply need to pay a nominal hosting fee to store your web files 
and the hosting company takes care of the rest. Hosting companies offer many different packages to suit your needs. Each package will fall under shared hosting, dedicated hosting, or virtual dedicated hosting.